Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am going to be showing you my toddler girl's wardrobe. We have a, I would say pretty minimalist wardrobe for her and they're all pieces that I've either thrifted or bought from more sustainable, ethical shops that make, that make things from organic fabrics which is really important to me. I'm really happy with her wardrobe right now and I wanted to show you guys. So this video is in collaboration with my friend Eleonora Hurst. She has a really similar YouTube channel to mine. She shares all kinds of really encouraging motherhood stuff and homemaking and DIY videos and she has some really amazing content so I will link her channel down below and also her video. She is doing the toddler boy version of this capsule wardrobe type video. So make sure you go check out, see what her little boy has in his wardrobe, and let's get right into this video. You can see I have a little tiny sleeping assistant down here. <laughs> so I'm gonna start out with her dresses. She, so I wanted to say, she has a few more things than this, but they're things she like never wears, like literally. They're things that I will only put her in if they're like emergency clothing pretty much. They're really ratty and not my style at all. And if I have fallen really behind on laundry, like when we get sick, she might wear those. But it's th this wardrobe that I'm gonna show you today is what she wears on an everyday basis. So. I'm gonna start with the dresses. She has two little dresses. This first one is from Maybe Baby. It's a really pretty brown linen dress. It has some buttons on the front. I really love this texture and I really love a lot of neutral colors and pieces. So you'll see I have no pink. I, there's one shirt that has a little pink spot on the shoulder, but everything else is super neutral and <laughs> that's really how I like it. Here is the next dress. This is kind of like a checkered, pattern white and black i love this one it looks so cute and vintage type it has little it has longer sleeves than the other one same type button up in the front and this one's just a little shorter this one actually shrunk in the wash since i got it because it's i don't know the material must have not been pretty shrunk and i didn't remember to take it out of the load before I put it in the dryer. But this one is Kindly the Label. So that brand has some beautiful, really minimalist pieces. They're made sustainably. I really love that company. Now we'll move on to leggings. I only have two, two pairs of leggings. These are both the Simple Folk brand. Another super cool brand with a ton of really sustainably made minimalist clothes. So these are like a waffle knit leggings so that she can wear, still wear those dresses in the winter. So I'll normally put this white one with the brown dress and the, the brown leggings with the white and black dress and that matches really, really well. And then these leggings are also great for like really extremely cold days that we want to be outside and I will put these on underneath her jeans. So it's just, it's always nice to have some leggings for little kids. All right, and now for pants, we have two pairs of pants. First she has just a basic pair of blue jeans. These are just Old Navy brand. They're the ballerina style of jeans. That's the, that's the cut, I guess. So just great for pairing with a really basic t-shirt or whatever. And then is the overalls. So I love little kids in overalls. It is like seriously the cutest thing ever. And these are actually like flannel on the inside. So they're nice and warm for winter. So she's been wearing these a lot lately because it's been super cold this last few weeks. The only problem with overalls and toddlers is that they can't get the, the buttons off the, sh the shoulder straps themselves for when they need to go potty. <laughs> but other than that, overalls on little kids are the cutest thing ever. We have a little pile of shirts here. She's got five shirts. There's three short sleeve and two long sleeve and that seems to be a pretty good number of short sleeve to long sleeve ratio. So this first one is my favorite. This is a long sleeve. And this is a muslin material. Muslin is seriously the most comfortable, softest material to have for your clothes. I only knew of them making baby swaddles out of muslin for the longest time. But since I figured out that they make other clothes with muslin, I've gotten some dresses with it and a robe and some of the kids' clothes. And I am like obsessed with it. <laughs> 
So this one is a, just a really cute brown long sleeve shirt. It has buttons all the way up in the back. And how it hangs on her shoulder, it kind of goes to the edge of her shoulders and is like kind of loose. And it's more like a tunic style, which is just, it's just really cute. So I really like this one. And I, I like to pair it with the jeans so that you can appreciate the style of the shirt. I don't like to use it with the overalls because you don't get to see the whole shirt and how cute it is. Here's the other long sleeve shirt. It's just a green long sleeve, totally plain. This is Old Navy brand. And here's her short sleeve shirts. So here's the one piece with the pink thing that I was talking about. It's got a little strawberry on the shoulder. <laughs> and the only reason that I have this one is because Sophia thought this was super cute and she is obsessed with this little strawberry and she talks about it every time she wears it and it's just so funny. Here's another striped short sleeve shirt. It's kind of this ribbed material and then it's got the little ruffles on the sleeves and on the bottom. Okay, and then last shirt is this floral, blue floral shirt. So this is Old Navy again. Old Navy has some pretty good pieces that are really affordable. So if you can't afford to get from the really good sustainable brands, and you can't find anything at the local thrift store, then Old Navy is a pretty good way to go. I love this material though. This, I love this pattern though. It's just really feminine, but not too like girly girly. All right, and then, so she's got two sweaters. This first one is like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna try to set this baby down real quick. Success, she's still sleeping somehow. <laughs> that does not always work. Now I have two hands though. I should have, that would have been easier if I had two hands during the whole video. So here's the first one. It's just a gray shirt. It's got these two little roses on the shoulder. So just a really plain, like old fashioned looking sweater. And then here's the other sweater. It's a mustard yellow. And actually she has two of this exact same sweater. One of them is got has paint on it because she got into a big bucket of paint when we were remodeling our last house and then the other one is paint free <laughs> so she she has two of these cute mustard yellow sweaters i just really love this color for everything so of course i had to have some sweaters for her with this and then for pajamas she has three pairs these are all thrifted, so they're not the colors I would necessarily go for if I had the choice of any and we could buy them new. But this is what was there in her size, so this is what we have. This one I had to pull out of the dirty laundry to show to you. This is just orange with bears on it. <laughs> Can't believe how tall she's getting. <laughs> and then we have a teal one with pink owls. These are just the fleecy um, zip-up footy sleepers. These are both fleece. And then we have one that's just a cotton for a light, it's a lighter material for nights that aren't as cold. I've been doing more research on <laughs> pajamas for kids and how it's better if they're not, they don't have any of the flame retardant stuff on them and they're organic because they're in them for like a huge chunk out of your 24 hour day. So it's really important to have good quality organic fabric on their skin and not the toxins that are in uh, flame retardant pajamas. I don't know if these are, but when I buy pajamas again for their next sizes, I'd really like to buy them from that packed website. They have some really nice pajamas that are like organic. This is the same place I got her underwear from, so I really like them. Just three pairs of pajamas, not excessive. I got her some underwear from packed because they're organic and I feel like that's really important to have organic on especially that particular item of clothing. And then we just got her some new socks. They're just white, black, and gray socks. So that is her whole wardrobe. So super minimalist, I feel like. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing kind of what I have in her wardrobe, kind of a little capsule wardrobe video. And make sure you go check out Eleanor's video. I'm really excited to see what cute pieces she has for her little boy. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.